Hello and welcome. Uh, I'm Ian Simmons. I'm one of the assistant directors at the City of London Corporation. Uh, and I've been here for uh, most of my professional career, nearly 30 years. I actually love and adore the place. I've been really pleased to uh, make it such a, a safe place, a nicer environment. And what I'm going to do through this film is actually give you some insight into some of the things that we've been doing. Some of the features that you'll see around us now uh, help to deliver a slower speed environment. So we have these things that lots of other people use as well, courtesy crossings, um, raised entry treatments, call it what you will. Um, we, we put these in and we put them in in high quality materials in the city and we know that actually vehicles, many of the drivers who you wouldn't normally associate with this, actually give way to people on foot really very, very obviously. And so again, the physical build of the environment is as important as actually setting a statement and that statement is 20 miles an hour. We are in one of the really historic parts of the City of London. This is Milk Street and it's called Milk Street because back in the medieval times this is where you came for your milk. So we've got the same quality, uh, the same materials, good quality design and actually focusing on a great sense of place and that's because 98% of the people who move around in this little bit out of the City of London on foot. So we're providing for them and after that everything else works so much better if we actually focus on the needs of people rather than the needs of vehicles. This is London's first high street. Um, we made dramatic changes on the back of lots of development in the area but actually having talked to people about what they wanted and they were saying that they actually wanted a street that was different. So very simply, we have exactly the same amount of traffic as we had before. We have doubled the widths of the footways, so we've taken them from three metres to six metres. We've put in lots of trees. Even before we brought in a 20 mile an hour speed limit, the average speed of vehicles on this street was 16 miles an hour. And, and that comes about through design. So um, people go slowly, and if a bus is waiting at the stop and there's one behind us, everybody generally waits for that bus to move off rather than trying to, to squeeze past it. Even cyclists tend to travel as part of the traffic flow and motor vehicles, it's, it's a bit too narrow for a motor vehicle to squeeze past a cyclist. And so actually what's happened is the average speed has come down to the speed that people cycle along the street. So this street has been in like this now since just before the Olympics, a coincidence, but we actually had to finish all of our work before that grand event happened for London. Uh, and if you look down from me here, what you can see is the old curb line. So there's a channel there in the paving. Uh, that sort of shows you where it was. What we have here is uh, we're at one end of Cheapside and a part where we've actually simplified a junction and by doing that, we've then created huge amounts of space for the public. So not only can we create space for people to move around in, but we have space for fountains. We have space for sort of architecturally designed seating and uh, all the things that just add a little bit of joy uh, to the sense of place. This uh, metal strip that you see running away from me now, it was the original curb line. So everything to that side is new footway for people, sidewalk if you're the other side of the channel on the Atlantic and this side was the original footway. Um, we're here uh, by St Paul's Cathedral uh, and the reason for sort of showing you some of this, the, the quality of the, the, the urban realm, this is where people come. They come to London, they come to St Paul's and amazingly where we're standing used to be a coach park so you could turn up and get out of your coach and toddle into the cathedral and come out again and it took about four years of determined slow persuasion of the various entities the church the travel companies many others that actually it was far better to locate the coaches a little way away and actually provide a quality space and that would be beneficial for everybody to create a, a great place for people to view the cathedral but also allow and help people to move in different directions. We wanted to create a junction and a crossing that kind of was fit for purpose, so it looked good, worked well and was safe. You press the button, when the light goes green you can cross. There's one here and there's another one to the side. And the space in between, anybody can cross there as well. It's incredibly safe, 
um, and many people do, particularly when there are a lot of people trying to cross this junction. We're here at Ludgate Circus, uh, again part of the City of London, but a more major road, uh, and it's managed by the Strategic Authority, Transport for London. You can kind of tell the difference. It's gritty, it's grimy, it's noisy, and unfortunately at this location, very dangerous. So we've had two cyclists killed in the last year um, at this location. Uh, now, as a result of that, uh, not solely the deaths, but actually part of that whole movement, throughout London, uh, major segregated cycle routes are being brought into play. This is one of those streets. So at the moment, it's very dominated by motor vehicles, and it's dominated by motor vehicles moving generally quickly, although they are 20 mile an hour on this street as well. Um, by this time next year, 12 months on, uh, there will be dedicated cycling infrastructure, just one lane of traffic travelling in each direction, uh, and it should be a much better place as a result as well. The professional, I know that this will actually work really well for London, but if people aren't in that professional sphere, they still have those concerns that everybody seems to have when you do anything that involves changing the status quo, it'll be chaos, it'll be pandemonium, it'll be gridlocked and everything will start to fall apart and the reality is it never ever ever does.